It is so practical and it gives so direct instructions and also the outcome is so um, powerful and um, that I'm just so amazed every time, every time I reflect on that. And um, that was also what I was so attracted to when I met Balanced View, maybe it was like eight years ago or something, up in Rishikesh, I met Candice there and I was just so struck by the words that she was sharing and I didn't understand what was going on. I could just feel like something was ringing, ringing really truth and something felt really great and made me just come back again and again and just testing that out in my own direct experience, just showing up to the meetings even if I don't really understood something. But it felt so amazingly just being in, in, in that presence of Candice and of the community that was present there. and. So I just came back in it again and again. And more and more, I also understood more and more the words directly from my own direct experience. So more and more they made sense. Everything made more and more sense because I could instinctively recognize that within myself. Just testing the simple instructions she gave, gave there and, and, and then so immediately also recognizing that within myself more and more. And that's what I've seen over the years, um, being involved in the training. Everything just settled more and more. Everything became just more and more clear. Everything that she shared, more and more my experience. And continuing on getting more and more my experience there. And not only my, my experience, but so many others. And that's what I found always powerful when I was thinking about trusting a, a teacher or... or um, all these kind of data, they're so natural to have, and then just testing it out in our own direct experience and always bringing it back to that. Because there we know instinctively, deeply, what will work for us. And we see it, we, we see it come immediately in our own direct experience, and we see it also in so many other people. So that's really powerful to allow ourselves to really testing that out in our own direct experience, the instructions. So the instructions to rely on short moments repeated many times. For short moments we can rest body and mind completely and recognize that at the basis of all our data, open intelligence shines through, inseparable. All our data, and data are all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, everything that we can perceive. We just simply call it data or data streams appearing in our mind stream, that we can just allow them to be as they are. We don't need to do anything with our data in order to feel comfortable, at ease, powerful and beneficial. Now that went completely against anything that I thought or that anything that I learned before. I thought I need to work on myself, try to get good emotions, good sensations, not have any negativity, just positive and I was constantly trying to work and effort trying to get a different set of data. Feeling happy and then that's it, that's perfect. Not feeling negative, that's needed to be get rid of. But now then introdu being introduced to relying on open intelligence, suddenly everything could be there as it is. Nothing needed to be gotten rid of. And that is such a relief. Everything that comes up any thought, emotion, sensation, experience, allowing them to be as they are. Because the nature of all our data is that they appear. We cannot do anything about that. We all notice that. I mean, thoughts, they just come. Emotions just come. We try to control them, but it just doesn't work. Next emotion comes. So they just pop up unpredictably. So we just allow them to be there. They hang out for a while, and then they resolve. We don't need to do anything in that process for the data to come to be there and to go. So we can just might as well just relax completely into that flow of data. That is the nature of all our data. So n nothing needs to be done with our data and that we just completely relax. And what opens up is that we tap into that intelligence that knows in every moment how to be and how to act. That intelligence that just knows completely, instinctively knows, that we wouldn't know about if we are focused on all the ever-changing description, ever-changing data, because then all our attention goes to that. We feel negative, we feel like this, and all every attention goes to that. We don't see that something about us is always stable, always present. 
And that's what we continuously rely on, that intelligence that knows. Boom, suddenly everything opens up. Suddenly we can be at complete ease with everything that comes up for us. Complete ease. Be completely empowered in each moment of our life. That's incredible. I didn't know that that was possible for a human being. I had no idea, because I was so f into analyzing myself and trying to fix myself that I thought that was the only way to do. And now suddenly I could let it be as it is and just empower myself every day, get more and more stable. Each year I feel more and more powerful, more and more stable, more and more clear. More and more I see like what will be of most benefit for myself and others, just naturally. And I not only see it myself, I see it so many people, because it works for everyone. No matter if they are sharing their experience, that's what is what, is what I, I'm doing. I'm, I'm a balanced view trainer, but that's what, what I want to do. I just want to share my experience, the experience I have in relying on open intelligence with others, to support others that they can receive the benefits I have received. And I dedicate my entire life to that, because I've got so many benefits from that. And that's the only thing I want, that everybody can have the benefits that, that I have received. And that motivates me completely to be available for that, and only that, the benefit of all. And that's the powerful thing, that also to relying on the Four Mainstays, that is always guaranteed the benefit of all, because we are all relying on the Four Mainstays. All the trainers, all the participants, everybody has that commitment to relying on the Four Mainstays in order to ensure the benefit of all and of everyone. The single-pointedness in every moment of the benefit of all. It is so powerful, so powerful that we allow ourselves to just open up to that and testing that out in our own experience, because we can just test it out as much as we want. Also relying on the Four Mainstays, we just test it out. I mean, I, that's what I did. In the beginning I just tested it out, a few of these Mainstays, relying on open intelligence as one Mainstay, so relying on the trainer as another Mainstay, and the training, the media, the, all the, um, the trainings that we offer, the community. So we can just test it out in our experience, and it's really up to us how much we want to involve ourselves. And we're just, yeah, testing it out, seeing the results in our own direct experience. And we go from there. That was for me. I just tested it out, and more and more I saw the benefits. The more and more I wanted to also be involved, because that just enhanced everything so much more easily. Suddenly I could really be with data that I thought I could never be like being in front of people speaking, I would never thought I could do that. I, I did not like that at all. I mean, I didn't even want to speak in front of two people. And, and now feeling completely at ease with, with that, and even enjoying it completely, sharing my experience. It's just like a miracle of, I, I thought, never that could be possible. So many things, just by allowing it to just to be as it is, or the fear, or, or nervousness, whatever it might be that comes up in certain circumstances for us. Just allowing everything to be and seeing that we can face everything, be powerful, be at ease and competent in each moment. That's where our power is at, being powerful in every moment. <coughs> and also when we feel a lot of negativity, we allow it to be as it is. For me that was also very attractive because I was so used to emphasizing my negativity, that it felt somehow safe in that. Some, some, there was some security in being negative, and in, in a very funny way actually, because I actually wanted to be positive, but the negativity somehow just felt very comfortable, because I was so used to emphasizing that. And that security within that, going down these data streams, just gave a sense of comfort also. But more and more that naturally eased off the grip of that, because I more and more found the comfortability in open intelligence, that security that I was looking in data stream, I more and more found in open intelligence. So allowing that to just open up, it's so natural that that comes up, at least that was for me the case as well. So just continuing on moment to moment, really practically. Whenever we remember to do so, rely on open intelligence, resting body and mind completely with anything that comes up. We, we can test it in, in our daily life. We can test it today with anything that comes up for us. We just rest for a moment, stopping the description that are going on 
all the stories that sometimes all the data are accompanied by, you know, like this, all this swirl of data. We just stop for a moment and rest. And then the data maybe come up again and we rest again. Soon all these, these stories just become so at ease. They don't, they don't feel compelling anymore, all the stories that we had about our data. Because more and more open intelligence becomes compelling. That's where we want to rest in and as and through open intelligence because open intelligence always stable always present not like all our data that are always changing but we rely on that that is always steady always present always on open intelligence and that gives us the full empowerment and um, release that we are looking for complete fulfillment in every moment